Hi Sagittarius, Sun Moon Rising guys, I cannot tell you how many times I have tried to record your video. This is going to be my, I don't know, 11th or 12th time, I don't know, I really don't know. It has been, it can be more than that. So, I don't know, I was not connecting with your energy, I was so distracted and I was uh, not feeling like it. I laid your spread twice and I just took it back. Uh, once there was no electricity, uh, like I lost electricity midway uh, and uh, very tough. Like I think you guys are having it tough. Uh, there are changes in your life and before this time when I started recording, I actually uh, wore this mala. It's a um, Rudraksh mala. Uh, so I just thought like I needed to wear it. I don't know why I was not able to connect with your energy But I, hopefully this time I'm gonna uh, complete this reading and uh, let's see what comes up for you This reading is for the sign of Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. I need messages for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Guys, I'm not doing a 10 card Celtic cross like I always do. I will do it next month. This month I'm just keeping it very very simple uh, short short reading uh, focused on your past present future energy what are your strength and weaknesses um, and um, what are your blockages and what you should start doing and what you should continue doing so what are the energies coming in for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising kindly give me the messages for my viewers uh, what are their past present future energies uh, for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising for the month of June 2018 okay so we have messages here Okay, extra one extra card here. Okay, what uh, what should they start doing? What should they continue doing? And what should they? What should they start doing? Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising June 2018 messages what should they start doing and what should they continue doing Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising, what should they, uh, what are their strength and what are their weaknesses and what are their advice, what is, what is their strength, Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising, so your strength is temperance card which is you, uh, very nice, what is their uh, weakness, month of June, okay, night of more swords what is their um, advice what is their advice exactly Sagittarius and Rising ok similar cards oh, oh. ok Sagittarius I feel that some of you are either dealing with a narcissist I'm just gonna say it like I didn't want to use this term but I just feel that some of you are dealing with a narcissist or you really want to cut somebody out of your life who is just like um, in and out of your life like this person is probably not serious and um, you want to be serious or you uh, you are passionate towards this person but let's see what's coming up we'll talk about it so uh, your first card out is five of pentacles when it comes to what was your past energy so in your past some of you were not feeling so financially well you were feeling that somebody left you out in the cold or uh, something just didn't work out and you felt uh, very alone you felt uh, depleted you also probably felt like um, you had uh, you you were dependent on somebody for uh, money purpose or uh, I'm just seeing that you left somebody out in the cold or somebody left you out in the cold also if it's about job and work then you you feel that you can do much much better than this and you feel that you deserve much more 
i also feel that uh, there is um, a certain cycle uh, when it comes to uh, so something in your life like there is a particular cycle or a pattern uh, where i'm feeling that um it's incomplete like you still have to complete this cycle this pattern uh, you are also um, breaking away from something uh, from uh, that is coming from a pretty much like a place of lack so you are breaking away from that situation is what i'm getting now uh, what is your present energy is you are trusting your intuition your gut your feelings and you are trusting your um, uh, you you are like you are like uh, trusting your uh, wisdom like your in communion with yourself and you are trying to feel your emotions you are trying to feel the energies around you uh, and you feel that uh, once you are centered and once you are um, believing in yourself then you can get all the answers to whatever the question that whatever the question is you will get the answers and uh, i am also getting some of you are dealing with a taurus or a pisces i am getting here that um, someone's purity is uh, repelling darkness like it's deflecting some darkness because they are so pure so you also see something that uh, others do not see or you are able to see something in the past which you had not seen before and now when you are focused on it now you are able to see what was uh, confusing you in the past i am also getting that um, you are seeing that something in the past um, expired very very long ago like some part of it got expired very long ago and uh, you also probably feel that the passion has left or someone has uh, fallen out of love and uh, you cannot uh, resurrect it or you cannot um, rekindle it is what i'm feeling and uh, you are looking at it in a way that um, i knew this uh, is how things happen like uh, you are like i'm i obviously this is how things happen is what you are telling yourself and i'm getting that um, you are sitting pretty in present like uh, as if you know everything as if you were expecting it uh, so yeah i am getting that energy and then in future i am getting daughter of pentacles and the lovers card some of you a uh, gemini person is working behind the scene or in the background or for some of you you are working behind the scene for two of the people like two there is a couple and you are working for them like you are the person working behind the scene it's that or you are uh, meeting someone who uh, can be your soulmate can be gemini or if uh, earth sign taurus virgo capricorn and uh, this person can be very diligent very hard working or this person can be at workplace uh, this person feels very young to me and very um, focused on their work and they uh, put a lot of effort and they are very dedicated ambitious as well i'm getting that uh, you have to make a choice regarding this person i think some of you have to decide if you want to promote this person or not or uh, just know that this person is very focused on you and they know that you know a lot and they do know that uh, you are very 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 wise and uh, they are very attentive like they are uh, waiting to hear you out whatever you have to say i'm also getting that um there is lot of happiness for you in future like uh, you will get to choose what kind of happy you want to be so uh, whether you want to grow like you know personal growth whether you want to focus on your personal growth and that will make you happy or whether you want to get into a relationship that will make you happy or whether you want to just focus on your work and that will make you like you know you, you know there are levels and types of happiness that you want so you are probably deciding which type of happy i really want to be in future and probably some of you will decide i want everything in place and i want to derive satisfaction from all uh, aspect of my life uh, but uh, i am seeing that uh, um at the heart of it you just want to remain happy and uh, 
uh, you don't care where the where from where that happiness come in your life like uh, uh, you just want happiness and you don't care about the source from where it comes so yes that's coming out now um what you should uh, stop doing is the seven of swords look at this card so seven of swords is telling me about uh, like uh, you are uh, deceiving yourself like uh, you are probably de deceiving yourself definitely because like you were deceiving yourself uh, earlier as well but you missed it like uh, you missed the lessons or uh, someone even tried to save you but you missed the lessons like uh, you got like you just barely escaped a similar situation in the past uh, that you are dealing or you have put yourself in right now and uh, i'm getting that sorry guys i'm touching my hair a lot because uh, because i'm not happy with it anyway so what i'm feeling here is that um, you were deceiving yourself in the past and you were not happy with it or you did not learn your lessons properly in the past and you are still doing those same things that you should not do because earlier you just barely escaped such a situation like you are self sabotaging yourself for your happiness uh i'm also getting here that um when it comes to money uh, you are telling yourself a very false storyline like uh, or someone leaving you behind you are not able to uh, you are lying to yourself about something like um, probably you are telling yourself no no this person did not uh, leave me behind this person is nice or something like that uh, but the thing is uh, you are ignoring something like you are being blind and you are in denial anyway what you should start doing you are getting the card 10 of swords what you should start doing is 10 of swords so start feeling uh <laughs> okay i will not say what i was going to say okay you need to look uh, okay start feeling the layers of a situation uh <laughs> because there is truth to it that you are not addressing and you are not uh, accepting so this is for you to remind uh, like to be reminded that you need to start uh, feeling uh, the pain and the hurt and the damage that has already been done to you either by yourself or by someone else in past uh, you could have decided to um, be with someone or not be with someone uh i'm also getting there is certain betrayal in your life or certain situation that has come to an end in your life which has been torturing you but it has come to an end like uh, there is nothing more left to it so you have to uh, move on or you have to accept the situation as it has uh, come out and not uh, sugar coat it or not uh, uh, color it uh, or like don't don't cover it so yes start feeling the burden or the betrayal that you have you are going through don't ignore it uh, like sometimes people say be positive be positive i'm getting here that um, that is a good mantra to have be positive but sometimes you need to feel your feelings you need to address the situation you need to acknowledge the pain and the hurt that has been caused to you so uh, feel it is basically i am getting here what you should um continue doing is you are getting three of pentacles so at work you need to be um quite cooperative and you need to be focused on your work i still feel that um i feel here that people are uh using you as a um shoulder uh, like you know to shoot some, from someone's as a shoulder like uh, like yes like someone making you a scapegoat i am getting that i am also getting that some of you are not grounded when it comes to work like uh, you are not feeling uh, financially uh, stable 
or you feel that financially you cannot reach your goal yet and you have to uh, work in a team and with people you have to be in harmony with them and try to make things work as long as you can uh, is what i'm getting but slowly i'm also feeling that you are developing your freedom like you know you are making space for your freedom as well like you are working with these people but slowly you are uh, developing some skills that uh, you need to uh, fly but you will fly away from a situation in future and you will liberate yourself but right now you have to work with people that you are working and you are polishing something and there are people who are working on you as well like they are investing and they want something uh, to uh, give you like they want to give you some insight they want to teach you something they want to mold you in a way probably how they want uh, anyway that's what i'm getting here i'm also getting here when it comes to your um, your strength you have temperance so you have energy of uh, being in balance not doing anything in excess being divinely supported uh, understanding the darkness and the light uh, like you know light and shadow of a situation you are understanding your wild side as well as your home home like homely or a domesticated sort of side i'm also getting that you are um, working on your appearance like how you look i'm also getting that you are very focused on um i think some of you have a pet like a bunny or a rabbit and you are spending time with your pet looking after it and caring for it some of you are tending to your uh, garden or you are taking care of your plants i'm also getting some of you um just being vulnerable and focusing on the light side of your emotions uh, that is your strength all these things that i just mentioned these are your strength i'm also getting you are releasing a shadow side of you like a side which was weighing heavy on you or which was um, a little bit um, like like it was quite raw and a little bit difficult to handle or uh, move uh like you don't want to take carry this side of you with you so you are releasing it is what i'm getting here what is your uh, weakness is you are getting knight of swords so you are either dealing with a uh, air sign libra aquarius gemini sun moon rising or you are dealing with someone who is an narcissist because there are red flags that i see i'm also getting that there is someone who is eating you up like for some of you this person is eating you up in a way that th this person is blocking your sight they don't want you to look f forward they don't want you to look further and they are trying to eat your um how you perceive things or how far you can look so they are obstructing you definitely but you have your uh, sword in your hand and you want to cut this person out of your life uh, you are very um, angry with this person is what i'm feeling here in uh, what you should continue doing is what i'm getting no what is your advice coming up here is okay so knight of sword is your weakness so how you deal with this person is your weakness uh, how you let yourself um, express yourself in front of this person is coming up as your weakness so probably uh, you are not dealing with them correctly uh, you you think that if you will show courage or if you think if you will go out and uh, cut them out of your life very actively then this person will stop bothering you but that is not the case sometimes you need to leave slowly like quietly just leave the situation and uh, don't uh, actively engage with them and don't try to uh, communicate or make any um, conversation with this person because i feel that uh, they are unhealthy for you and there is no uh, growth for you uh, in this situation now uh, with this person now what i'm also getting in your um, advice is that uh, you need to uh, be light like you know uh, go back to your energy which is knight of swords not knight of swords 
I almost said Knight of Swords. So this is your energy. You are very, uh, pro you know, you have protected yourself and you are speaking cold, harsh words, some of you, which is not good. You need to be understand how you communicate with people around you is what I'm getting for some of you. Uh, and speak of the things that make you grow into a better person or which nurture other people like your kids or whoever. So speak in a very calm and uh, encouraging way is what I'm getting. Now uh, with uh, your um, advice you have knight of cups, knight of wands and the page of wands. So I'm getting that you are passionate towards something like a idea or someone. Uh, it can be a water sign or a fire sign. I'm getting that uh, both of you are not committing right now. Both of you are, uh, some of you are playing games and some of you are just jumping into it very quickly. Uh, you're not analyzing it. You're not grounding the uh, relationship. You're not taking it slow. Uh, either it's very emotional or it's very uh, quick, impulsive is what I'm getting here. Uh, your advice is that uh, you need to take it slow and yes there is passion but uh, be wary that this person that you are dealing with or whom you want to approach or whom you are going to tell that you find them attractive good looking this person might cut you out of their life I'm getting that energy, sorry guys. Or this person might even uh, escape a situation very quickly, like they will come and leave. They will come and leave. Yes, so that is the energy for you, uh, Sagittarius. I'm also getting that. Um, some of you are dealing with a Taurus person and you are in a marriage. Some of you, some, you, some of you want a commitment like a marriage commitment or something. Uh, abundance for you guys is uh, delayed or there is... Abundance is coming up as a blockage. So I'm getting that um, you need to work on your money. And some of you are selling your house is what I'm feeling here. Or you are selling something because you feel that um, you want to save as well for a house but it will uh, uh, it will matter a big deal how you are thinking about the situation if you are not positive about the situation then it's not going to work out and if you are uh, spending too much money like squandering money for no reason uh, when it's not required of you to make those purchases, uh, it's coming up as a blockage. Some of you are spending money on uh, intoxicants, which is not great, good. Grief and perseverance. Some of you are crying over spilt milk and some of you are uh, not making any effort and you are not working hard enough. Uh, you perseverance is coming up as a blockage for some of you in a way that uh, you are working too hard on something that is not working out for you uh, and there is grief uh, that is blocking your heart chakra there is something that you are still grieving from the past uh, or some someone that you really really wanted in your life to be with you they are not there anymore uh, either they they have stopped talking to you or they have passed away for some of you I'm getting that some of you are divinely supported but uh, you are not willing to give up your uh, old uh, old life which was not serving you but you are not able to uh, give it up like you want to carry it with you you want to uh, embody the sadness that you have been carrying but that is what is going to stop you and block you so what's blocking you is uh, 
if your heart chakra is blocked some for some of you your solar plexus is blocked like you don't have the drive to uh, go after the dreams or the desires that you have so you are missing the drive work on your solar plexus chakra some of you and for some of you security is an issue like you don't feel secure or stable or grounded so for that you need to work on your root chakra also i am getting complacency so definitely some of you are just sitting there and wasting your time not making any moves uh, in the especially not making any moves in the right direction you are very lost and confused and just uh, sitting there not making any effort for some of you uh, i am getting that there is a person offering you love emotional cup of love like ace of cups i'm getting that it will give you a lot of happiness it can be a leo person for some of you uh i'm getting that this person is not actually committing right now this person is not actually committing right now yes so uh sagittarius that was your reading i hope it was helpful i know my messages are a bit um they are delivered a bit weirdly like you, you can tell me uh how it is i can do it better probably next time but like i said i was not able to connect with your energy so this these are the messages that i am receiving right now i hope it helped and i'll see you again next month guys Thank you for your support and do drop me a comment if you resonated. Thank you. Bye bye.